Welcome back to Rachel B. The Healthy We. Today I'm going to talk to you about making custom nail decals. As you can see here, these are the typical ones that you would buy through Ally or Amazon. And although very cute, if you have a nail and mine right now are kind of at my medium length, not even long, um, they can be quite small. Um, and you need multiples for one nail. And you don't always get the look you're quite looking for. However, with custom decals, as you see here, this is a two sheets of ones that I have done for myself just to do different things that I want with the upcoming holiday holidays coming. I did some fun decals there as well as over here. You can see these ones are missing. That's because I did these vampire nails because we're getting close to Halloween and quite frankly, I'm going to change them a couple times. So why not use several designs and also just some fun fall nails. Um, and these are super simple to do. I simply use my inkjet printer and these two items. You just need water saw decal paper that's made for inkjet printers. As you can see, they even indicate on the package that you can use them for nails. You can also do other fun things with them as well. And then of course you're going to need a clear varnish because you have to protect the design so that you can in fact put water on it and it'll still slide off. So simple. You just print it out, let it dry for 30 seconds to a minute, and you go and you put two very, very thin coats of the lacquer on top, and then they're ready to roll just like any other decal. Best thing to do is make sure you get a super high quality picture, but it can be any picture that you find online. But in order to make it small, then you need to figure out the approximate size. If you average your nails, do like mine here, intermediate length, that way you can fit more. If you do longer nails, totally up to you. Um, even this one, when I first printed, I thought these would work, but they end up being a little wide. So I fixed that here. Uh, the other thing you can do, as I'll show you here, is just take a regular piece of printed paper and in draft, not in high quality, print it out, size it to your nail, figure out what works and what you need. And then that's how you end up with a good template. Once you have a template and you know what sizes you need, you can leave that as a base for all your following designs. So you know what size that you need. But again, this pretty much means sky's the limit on any type of design that you want to do. As you can see here, where I did the vampire nails, you can pretty much just pick and choose anything. And you can also make it any size. If you have really long nails, if you have really short nails, anything you want, this is the white, paper, which means that the design is not see-through. They also have transparent where you can just do one where let's say if it's gray and you're putting it over gray, you would see the gray underneath. Um, totally up to you, but I feel like this, for those of us who are an amazing artist and can't hand draw in detail and just aren't professionals, this is a really awesome way to get a really fun and cool art manicure without having to make it difficult and water slides are super easy. So give this a try. I'll link the products below for you if you're interested because this is so versatile. It's the, probably one of the most exciting things I've found so far for art with my nails. Hope you enjoy and thanks for watching.